It's estimated between four and 500 people perished in Hurricane Audrey, which crept on shore earlier than expected about 3 a.m. June 27, 1957. The loss and heartbreak unimaginable for so many. The late Rodney Gilbo lost seven family members, including his mother. At a quarter to seven, a humongous wave hit. They could see it coming. Uh, they knew that that was the end. They said goodbye. They said an act of contrition. The wave was uh, over the high lines, the electric lines, which put it in the, in the vicinity of 50 feet or so. And when it hit the house, the house exploded. For decades, Gilbo told the story of Hurricane Audrey. His purpose, to make sure all heard the message, heed storm warnings and leave when needed. Water is a powerful force. You need to be prepared for hurricanes and be ready to leave. Gilbo's daughter, Anna Lee, was only seven when Audrey hit. She's grateful to have spent time with her grandma and other family who would soon die in the hurricane. I was with them, actually, the week before and got very homesick. So my parents picked me up that Sunday. I was going to be with them during the hurricane, <laughs> yes. So grateful that my life was spared. And she says her dad, Rodney, always told the story of her grandfather, the only one of 10 people in the house who lived. He was the only one to, to survive and actually survived by uh, floating on a dead cow. And even as Rodney grew older and weak from health issues, he never wavered when it came to telling the story of Audrey. Get out and get out now while you can. Because if you wait until it passes, you may not have a chance to get out. With modern communications and forecasting, it's unlikely a tragedy such as Audrey will happen again, at least here, in part because the story of those who lost so much continues to be passed one generation to the next. At your service, Teresa Schmidt, KPLC 7 News.